Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay. I am an online reseller, mainly with eBay, but I do dabble with a few other websites as well, including Etsy, Facebook, and other marketplaces online. In today's video, I'm visiting my local Sunday car boot sale, uh, and this one runs all year round. So every single Sunday, apart from if it lands on uh, Christmas Day, I believe, uh, this car boot sale runs. Uh, so I'm here today and hopefully I can find some good pickups to put onto my eBay uh, page. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. How much do you have on your Star Wars men here? Sorry? How much do you have on these two Star Wars? Um, I think we've got Oh, is there? Um, somewhere. No, that's <laughs> three pound each. Three pound? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, you can buy the price on this one. That one's five pounds. Five pounds, okay. You can do, if you would, the ideal one, do you want it? Do you want both of them? I'll have a think about it and okay. come back. I just got here, so I don't want to... Yeah, OK, anyway. perfect. Thank you. That's cool, isn't it? So I did actually come back and pick this up a little bit later on. I didn't actually get any footage of that. Uh, I believe this is supposed to have a remote control. The lady told me it didn't need one or it didn't come with one. Uh, but I was a bit suspicious. I paid two pounds for this in the end. Uh, the only reason I bought it was because it was made by the company Wowie, which are the same ones that make the fingerling uh, toys, and they sell for pretty good money. So I thought it was worth a shot at two pound. little Star Wars R2-D2 is actually a Funko from back in 2009. It's not a Funko Pop. Someone actually bought one for about £9, so I'm hoping I can get 10 maybe £15 for this. Yeah, pound. And the R2? £1.50. £1.50, okay, thank you. £2. How much is your uh, thing in the... Uh, yeah, go on then. Take those three. Thank you. First buyers of the day. <laughs> uh, I've just got it to be honest, I'm not sure, but if you've said that, then you're probably right. Apparently there's some upstairs today, which hopefully... Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Can I get, um... Can I get these two as well? They're 50p, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> These were two little Disney Infinity figures from Star Wars. They were a bad buy at one pound. I actually managed to pick up two brand new sets of these exact figures later on uh, for one pound a set. Not sure what they sell for, but I believe these two loose ones probably won't get me my, my pound back, but I'm happy to stick them on my shelf. I like Star Wars. together mate with the DSi. Yeah. How much you got on that? I've got 20 quid on it mate. 20 quid, okay. The DS Nintendo DSi piqued my interest a little bit here but at 20 pound it's just a little bit too steep for me. 
uh, I'm likely to only get 25.30 on eBay for this anyway, and all the games that were with it were just standard uh, trash games, really. Nothing really worth picking up or adding any value to the £20 console. Uh, it did power on, as you'll see in the video, but yeah, wasn't that interested in this, unfortunately. How much you going on? I've got four quid on it, mate. Four pound. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See? How much on your DS console? Yeah, ten pounds. I must have had DS in my mind from the last store that I just visited because I completely missed that phantom black Xbox One controller sat there in the box. Morning. It is insane to me how much of this stuff I do not remember seeing there. And I was only there just this morning. Uh, I think because I'm just glancing so quickly for the good pickups that I just miss everything else. It's actually quite nice to look back at my footage and see the stuff that I potentially missed out on. Not a lot going around here today. That was a load of trash. Is this 20p in here? Yeah, it's all 20p in So when I opened this little tub to have a look inside, that pin right there jammed right into my thumb and my god it hurt so bad. I will get these two, I'm just going to keep looking. How much on these? For that. Is your wife I take those bits for a pound and leave you with this? Sorry? Is your wife I take these for a pound and leave you with that? I think that's separate. So what you're saying? What, what, what these? These oh, for well, these up there. The pound, oh, and yeah. then you can. But not those. That's that's all right. I'll take those as well. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah, those I'll are twenty p each. Yeah. So. So, so one four, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Just a little bit of confusion there on that buy, but we did manage to get two uh, boppet and they are both working also the uh, little toy there that you rip the cord and it's kind of weird but yeah you hold it in your hand kind of thing um, and we also got the board game and the little nerf gun for 40p so £1.40 for all of those what a bargain make sure you are on the lookout for boppets because they do go between 10 to 15 pound for them but they're always a good buy especially when they're cheap thank you <laughs> I probably should have picked up this little Mario toy. It looked a little bit fake though, so I didn't bother. 
Uh, but I should have really checked the tags, to be honest, because they can go for pretty good money, especially the old ones. Also, if anyone's looking for One Direction toys, uh, she seems to have about 50 of these uh, brand new and boxed dolls by One Direction. No idea if One Direction dolls are worth anything on eBay. I have no idea, so I didn't even bother. But they were £1 each, so anyone looking for them, uh, let me know and I'll pick some up and put them on eBay for you. So, yeah, there we go. How much on the Lego tub? Is it? Okay. No worries. I just needed a tub. <laughs> I don't drive, unfortunately, so one thing I don't do at car boots, if I can avoid it, is picking up heavy Lego. Uh, however, that tub I would have picked up on its own, but because it was full of Lego and he wanted 25 for the whole thing, I decided to leave that behind. But that, uh, that tub itself will sell for probably about £20, £25, I presume, something like that. It is a very large one. If it's legit, a genuine one, uh, you're looking at some quite decent money. So I could have made my money back on the tub alone and then sold the Lego, but I just can't be dealing with carrying uh, heavy Lego home, unfortunately. So this person had a really nice collection of airplane models. They were all plastic, they weren't the metal ones. Uh, and I don't really know too much about aviation uh, models or collectibles, so I decided to not worry about picking these up. But they could have been really good money. I'm not sure if anyone knows uh, about this kind of stuff. Let me know. I'm always ears for learning new stuff. Uh, but yeah, I thought they were pretty cool, so I did have a little quick look. Is this your store? Yes. Yeah. How much do you have on the PSP games here? Are these these ones? Uh, two pound each. Two pounds. Okay. Okay. Thank you. the only gaming bits you have, or do you have more? Um, well, the DVDs, Mum. Games, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, no worries. Thank you. <laughs> How much on this? Yeah. Two pounds. Two pounds.
Could you do a pound on it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have change? Because I think all I've got is a 20 at the moment. How much? 19. Yeah. Sorry to be a pain. That's 20. Perfect, thank you. Thank you very much. How much on there, Thomas? One pound. One pound. I'll get that. Thank you. you can't get one pound, can no, you? you can't actually. What's yeah, this? Quid, oh, probably something like that. Isn't everything well, around? I don't think they make anything that they charge less than twenty quid for these days. And now it's going to keep making that noise on me all day. It will stop. That there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Always like to pick up anything that's Thomas the Tank Engine, especially if it's uh, working while I'm there. And for a pound, like you said, you cannot go wrong for a pound with Thomas the Tank Engine, and it was working. Uh, so bargain on that one. She also had this tub down here that had a couple of games in. At first they didn't have discs but I did actually manage to find a disc and I paid £1 for GTA Liberty City Stories on PS3. It's about a £5 game, nothing too special, uh, but yeah, thought I'd pick that one up. There you go. Thank you. Have to work for that one. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye -bye. These are actually the two sets of Disney Infinity that I picked up for a pound each later on in the day. Didn't get footage of that, so I thought I'll just let you know now. They discounted basically this whole table, everything for a pound towards the end of the day. Uh, so I managed to pick those up for a pound each. <clears throat> Is it right if I come through? Yeah. So I made my way to the back of this person's mat, I guess you could call it on the floor. Uh, I thought I had eyes on a huge roll of brown paper, which is really good for padding packages. Uh, unfortunately it wasn't, it was some sort of sticky paper uh, with like a, a like rubbery, I don't really know what it was, but it wasn't what I thought it was, so a little bit disappointed there, but you, you never know. Cool. How much on the tub? Two pounds. Two pounds. Let's have a look. Could you do a pound? No. It's a bit early enough. Um, you know what, I'll take that for two. So I managed to get this Lego tub for two pounds. 
Uh, and yeah, I've actually just checked and got a picture for on screen. These are selling for around £20 uh, for this small Lego tub. Yeah, this one's going for about £20. Happy with that for £2. Oh, the bag is getting full. Thank you. Cheers. Excuse me, do you know if there's stuff upstairs today? I don't know, but the, the place is packed out, so probably. Okay, Are they perfect. Are the room today? Oh. <laughs> yeah, like oh. So outside, so yes, they look Thank you. So I'm looking at these power cables because I actually need an extension for my room. Unfortunately the plug that goes in the wall wasn't a UK standard plug, it was a European one so it was kind of like a European to UK plug, it was weird. I'm not sure whether he had any adapters for it but uh, I didn't bother asking to be honest, I wasn't in that much need. They needed recovery and it needed retraining. How much on this one? Two pounds. Two pounds. Now, I should have really picked up this Harry Potter game, but I do already have like three of them and they do take quite a long time to shift, but uh, when they do sell, they go for around eight to ten pounds, so for three pound, it could have been good, but I didn't really want to chuck another three pound at Harry Potter when I already have like three or four per console right now, so uh, yeah, maybe I should have picked it up, but I already had quite a lot of stuff today, so I didn't feel the need to uh, buy stuff like that. So I just heard this person tell the other person at their stall that they need to stop bargaining with people to get more money out of them and he needs to start accepting low offers. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Uh, I 
I do like that one. I didn't do that enough this summer as well, so most of my stuff is going to be for this year. If I did it the year before, because I don't want to do a whole bunch of times. If you do it a certain amount of times, where people have invited and they've seen it and before as well. But if you never know who's going to be there, that is, so I'm going to give it that one a try. And I want to start heading up a more button for it as well. Problem. Yeah, all the bits are there. Is it new or is it just? Um, yeah, basically, I think someone started it because when you look at the, I was going to say the that quality, it's pain. not half of it's not even been opened. I think yeah. someone started to open the packaging. I did a quick count and everything okay. seems to be there. How much was your? I'm doing three quid on it because it's opened and. If it was all still sealed, then it would be online. <laughs> would you do two? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Bingo! I kind of wish I asked this guy how much his black and white license plate was, because it's actually pretty cool. The license plate number is hot. Um, I wonder how much he had on that. He must be a collector, because a lot of his stuff is antique, so... I would expect he had quite a hefty price on it, but mate, if that was like five pound, I probably would have been tempted to buy that. I was just so transfixed on this Jaguar kit that I didn't even see it. Thank you, thank you very much. Cheers. Two on that, you That's fine. A special 50p there. Oi. <laughs> right, let's uh, get this bag out. Thank you very much. No worries, man. Have a good day. On the subject of having a good day, unfortunately guys, this is the end of the video. That was the last thing that I bought on camera. So that is the last thing today for the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Please do smash a like on today's video. It's gonna help me uh, start growing a viewer base for this kind of content. Uh, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff. And hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.